Welcome back. Hurricane season is approaching and we're learning how the coral reef that runs parallel to South Florida is vital to protecting our coastline. But some areas around the Florida Keys are being exposed to twice the amount of heat stress that causes corals to die. Local 10's Jane Stanwood goes underwater to show us what's happening. We are heading to Lou Key Sanctuary in the Lower Keys. No, you're clear. And going beneath the surface to witness the majesty of the Florida Keys Coral Reef, the third largest barrier reef in the world. Yeah, without the barrier reef, it's, it's hard to imagine the Keys would, would be there. Scientists like Jim Hench with Duke University have always known the reef absorbs the energy of waves that would otherwise crash on shore. And these beams form um, an antenna. But it wasn't until Hench's team placed these sensors on part of the reef off Key West in 2021 that we learned just how much a living reef matters during a hurricane. Months later, that's when Hurricane Ian barreled through. It was a real life test. The hurricane was generating 26 foot waves at the peak of Ian. And so the question was, how come we don't see 26 foot waves here in Key West? Data showed the reef reduced wave energy by more than 90%. I, I think I was amazed that how frictional those reefs are. But then another challenge to our reef made headlines, heat. Last year's unprecedented sustained high water temperatures past 90 degrees resulted in major coral bleaching. Scientists at NOAA reporting more than 75% of some corals that were restored and outplanted were dead. We lost a lot of coral colonies. It's like losing a friend in a lot of ways. What could that mean for the next hurricane season? Yeah, um, I mean, who, who knows quite yet. The biggest single problem though is water temperature. I don't know how we're gonna combat that. Back on the boat at Lou Key, divers and conservationists are watching closely and have seen a decline in corals. But they say all is not lost. We lost a lot of the branching corals, there's no question of that. But most of our massives, the ones that really play the role to break the uh, waves of hurricanes down, have survived. The oceans are in trouble, but we have an opportunity to save them. So how do you save the coral reef? The local efforts are amazing. That part of the story is coming up on our Staying Storm Safe Hurricane Special. We're working on that for you right now, and we hope you can join us. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.